Hello everyone, this is Gaiman. Welcome back to some more World of Warships, and this is essentially going to be a filler video. Uh, I wanted to at least capture this replay before it is no longer available because the update for the US and Light Cruisers is coming out today, and uh, once that obviously comes out, it's no longer going to be possible for me to record this replay. Uh, I am in the Tier 10 French battleship, the Republic. And I think it's definitely earned its position. Uh, I remember when it was first kind of introduced as far as the design, a lot of people did not like it. And I still think probably a few people don't like it, but I think it is a very strong ship. Uh, we are currently playing on Shatter playing at Domination. Uh, we have a Midway, Montana Republic, two Bismarcks, Des Moines, Hindenburg, Zao, Baltimore, Hipper, Z-52, and a Shimikaze on the enemy team. There is a Midway, two Montana, Rochelle, Bismarck, Des Moines, two Hindenburgs, two Clevelands, a Z-52, and a Shimikaze, and I am joined uh, with Chin in the Des Moines and Jorge, or Murakamo, I'm still prob probably mispronouncing that, in the Zhao, uh, and Republic's kind of taken a special place in my heart. I really do like this battleship. I think it's a very strong battleship, though she does have her flaws. Uh, most obvious is the fact that she only has two turrets. Uh, they do have four guns each, which does mean that she does have eight shots, which is probably one of the more lower as far as amount of shells going out at a time, but she has a very quick reload. She also has really good secondaries. Now, the reason why I wanted to show this battle was it's a good demonstration on what a battleship should be doing. It should be pushing, and I really like battleships that push. Now, different battleships have different capabilities. Uh, for example, the Yamato is more of a stationary battleship. Uh, that's generally how the play is. It likes to sit in a very more secure location and just using its very powerful long-range shells and dealing damage that way. Perfurst is going to be a little bit more of the close quarter. Uh, it has that turtleback armor. Uh, it also has its fairly good secondaries and it does have 12 guns. Now the Republic's kind of a mixture between the Montana and the Kerfers. The Montana is fairly good at maneuverability, uh, but it does have those really good secondaries. The Republic also doesn't have that best as health, uh, is the second lowest, but it doesn't have that super heal that the Conqueror has. So it's kind of susceptible to taking damage, especially HE damage. But if played uh, properly and with support, should do fairly well. And it's also, it's uh, AA is very fantastic. Uh, as you can see, there are AP dive bombers incoming on the Bismarck, and you can kind of see how well these uh, AA guns actually do against the enemy CV's planes. And Tire Squadron knocked down uh, does look like Murakamo did use his defensive AA, uh, so did save that Bismarck from taking substantial amount of damage and did manage to at least shoot down three planes, which is always very, very nice. Now, once again, the secondaries are fantastic. These secondaries, oh, I love them. They have a 12.1 kilometer range. It does look like that Cleveland did slow up and did not manage to actually take a hit, so very good job there. Uh, was expecting him to at least push forward, but he is trying to get into... Uh, well, he's probably not really happy that he has spotted Cleveland's very lightly armored. Shots away on the Cleveland. Uh, fairly angled. Do take a little bit of damage from this Montana. But once again, these guns reload very quickly. And this Montana is opening up his broadside, which is not the best idea. In a moment now, should be able to draw, fire shots. Also is taking torpedoes from the friendly CV. Shots away, do get two citadels on that men Montana, did drop him down to at least a quarter of his health. So nice damage there, but unfortunately we have kind of run into the issue with an island, uh, which does mean that we're going to have to at least back up a little bit. Now, as far as you can kind of see the positioning that's happening on the minimap on our side, there's four ships versus four ships. Um, you can see that Chen is taking up a position, uh, is definitely protecting his broadside and is currently focusing down that Bismarck. That Bismarck is starting to burn. Um, and the other ships are a little bit further back. They're not really in a position to help. We do have a Bismarck and a Turpitz. 
Uh, actually, I believe we have two Bismarcks, sorry. We do have two Bismarcks. Uh, once again, Montana comes back around, showing a lot of broadside. Um, do get a good hit, and you kind of see why a lot of people were complaining. Uh, because the majority of our firepower is just... It's halved, so if you're bow in, you're only able to get at least half your firepower. But these shells hit pretty hard. They are the second largest caliber in the game. Um, and one other nice thing about the Republic is her speed. And now it's actually a really good time to actually start pushing. Uh, the enemy, uh, Bismarck, has gone down. Uh, Cleveland's very susceptible for being pushed, and the Bismarck and the Montana is currently uh, pulling away. He is burning quite heavily. So it's actually a really good idea to actually start pushing in. Uh, CB does look like he's starting to come back in, uh, but that is obviously a Des Moines right there and should help take out uh, enemy aircraft. Now, unfortunately, uh, we aren't doing that well as far as caps. I think early games caps should not be the greatest concern. I mean, they are... Uh, a major thing you do want to at least focus on, but we do get a Citadel on that Montana, uh, who was actually fairly angled. Uh, so we do manage to take him out. Uh, now that's all that's left on this side is the enemy Cleveland. And we are just now starting to cap, but you guys can see we are definitely ahead in points. Um, and there we go, taking out the enemy Cleveland. The entire majority of the enemy forces on the side has been officially taken out and we can freely take this cap. So this is kind of a steamroll uh, example uh, of a battle and which I'm not a big fan of uh, because you just don't really get that high damage potential that you can generally uh, see. Uh, but we still managed to get decent amount of damage. Uh, Des Moines is very low in health. Try to help take him out, but unfortunately islands do block our shots. But once again, Republic reloads very, very quickly here. And does look like there is a smoke screen uh, in that middle of the channel. Uh, I'm guessing from a enemy destroyer that might be there. Uh, and this Hindenburg is very susceptible for being focused down. So we're going to try to focus him down as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see. Uh, decent damage roll there. Secondaries are opening up, and once again, I, I love the Republic secondaries. They're just so much fun. Because uh, Curvers, if you do a secondary build, uh, at the very least you can get around 11 kilometers, and we do get a Citadel on the enemy Hindenburg. Uh, shots off on the Yamato, hoping to at least take him out. Uh, we might get lucky. But the angle is fairly steep and does look like the enemy destroyer actually was starting to push in towards the sea cap uh, and is currently being spotted by enemy or friendly planes uh, and hopefully should go down. I'm actually kind of curious which destroyer it is. Mm, don't see him. Unfortunately, he might have smoked up. Um, so, I mean, nice. Managed to take out the Montana, uh, didn't do that much of damage against them, I will admit. Uh, but enemy CV planes are coming in, and once again, the Republic's AA is really fantastic. Uh, I, I really do enjoy shooting down planes with these uh, AA guns, uh, but it is a midway, so the uh, planes are going to be a little bit more healthier. Trying to help out uh, Chen uh, against this Rochelle. Unfortunately, uh, we do have a enemy torp plane inbound, and can we actually dodge this? Ooh, managed to actually get away with that uh, just because it was dropped a little bit close and we did turn in, and that's actually a really good tactic is to turn in uh, whenever uh, CB is dropping you. But unfortunately, Chen uh, has gone down to the Des Moines uh, because well, unfortunately, he had two options, show broadside to a Rochelle or show broadside to a Des Moines. And unfortunately, he was showing a lot of broadside to the Des Moines. Uh, but at the moment, enemy team still has the B-cap. Uh, Shimikaze is now spotted, and we kind of know where the enemy CV is at the moment. We were currently being radared. Uh, but it does look like the Rochelle just went down. Uh, Shimikaze is spotted as well. Gonna try to help out. 
uh, against that Shimakaze, uh, try to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Now we're actually very close to the enemy midway, and essentially our A guns are going to be opening up as soon as they start lifting off from the midway, so we should have a fairly good chance to actually knock down these planes. Um, and let's, let's see if we can get lucky against this enemy midway. Uh, Shimikaze is probably the more major threat, hoping to at least take him out. Uh, getting some good plane shot down right here, uh, and actually managed to get a close quarter expert on the enemy Shimikaze. That is kill number four. Uh, back turret is turned around uh, to the enemy Des Moines, and fortunately we don't get the kill, uh, but do have our secondaries focusing him on, focusing on him. Uh, and unfortunately, we're just gonna have to eat the uh, torps. I hate to say it, um, but this midway is in a very precarious position at the moment, and it does look like a friendly, uh, friendly DD was trying to drop torps. So I do have to be also careful of those torps. Uh, but coming around to this midway, and very little he can do. He is trying to drop on us as well. Secondaries are going to be focused on him. And can we actually get a Kraken? Very close to a Kraken. Midway is the last member on the enemy team. Uh, do take those torps. Do get flooded, but uh, it's not going to be enough to kill us. Uh, and that should be Kraken right there. So our team earned a victory and we brought home 533,582 silver, 6,238 XP, close quarter expert, and Kraken Unleashed. Uh, damage wise, not too bad, 156,421, 39 shell hits, 32 plane shot down, 5 kills, 2 fires, 4 citadels, 1 assisted base capture, and 166 secondary hits. We're top of the team with a base XP of 2,631. As far as damage, uh, Montana we did around 64,000, Midway we did around 31,000, Hindenburg we did around 16, and the enemy Montana we did around 11,000. Uh, I will have to say the Montana and Shimikaze we kind of stole, but it was securing a kill, which is always nice. Main battery did around 126,283, while our secondary uh, did around 24,873, while fires did around 5,265. Uh, potential damage we honestly didn't uh, didn't weren't supposed to take that much I'm actually kind of surprised I was expecting a little bit more 481,402 uh, and damage wise we only received 80,651 so not that much we weren't focused down really heavily uh, the CV was probably the uh, one that did try to focus us down that quickly. Uh, but anyways, this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zaijin!